Talk to the Head Reviews. Well, hello, Sugar Bee. I'm so, so very pleased that you have decided to come back and spend some more time with us here on my channel. Well, it's our channel. Talk to the Head Reviews. Oh, yes, yes. I'm very, very happy that you are here today. And I'm very happy to be here, too. Now, let me just, I don't want to waste too much time. I want to just ask you right in the very beginning. So you know everything is on the table. What I would like for you to do is please like our channel. Mm hmm Did you do that? I mean, uh, did you like, did you like the video? Did you do the, did you like the, did you push the thumbs up? Okay, great. Thank you. And now, go down there. Go down there, that little thing down there. That, it says subscribe. Go ahead and, go ahead and push that subscribe thing. Look. Oh, hey, wonderful, thank you. And now the next thing is you have to, t you have to, we try to think of something creative to say what, what you should do for the bell. You know, people say, smash the bell, or, you know, all kind of things. But we thought, we would just say, slap the bell. Slap the bell and holler at us. Slap the bell and holler at us. And holler is, is just, you know, say something down below. You can talk about me. It's okay, I know I'm. I'm like kind of a celebrity, so I'm, I, I understand, and I, I used to be very, very sensitive, so I understand sometimes, though, I, I have to just not be as sensitive and try not to dwell on the negative things in my, anyways, here, anyways, here I go, I'm back, I'm back up again, you're gonna, you're in for a treat, my sugar bean, do you know why, I said, do you know why, do you know why, I said, do you know why? Well, because I'm going to get my makeup done. And you know I love to have my makeup done. If you didn't know that, then welcome to our channel, Talk to the Hand Reviews. My name is Mitzi Handsome. My name is Mitzi Handsome. And I'm very excited that you are here today. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get, I think, Bo. Bo? Yes? Why are you so quiet? Well, it's your time to speak. It's not really my turn. Well, I still appreciate... You know, sometimes people just want to talk all over you when you're trying to do your, your skit. Anyways, so we're going to get started with the makeup? Yes, we are. All right, so here we go. How was your week? I think we're doing a pretty good job of keeping this going every week now. Oh, it was, it was great. You know, I, I've been doing a lot of stuff like I, like I was. You know, I'm still doing that work. Mm-hmm, that's nice. Anyways, well, I did some good stuff, too. You know, I did some gardening, and everything is coming up at, hmm, that feels good. It's like a massage. That, I like that one. I forgot what I was talking about. It's the foundation you're putting on? Yep. And sometimes they call it base. Yep. All right, excellent. By the way, mm -hmm. do you remember when I was talking recently about how I have a little bit of FOMO? FOMO. Yes, you know. Well, you might not know because you're not, you know, young. But that's the thing now. They say FOMO. It means fear of missing out. Would you like me to write it? I can write it on this paper here. No, it's okay. Well, all right. I just want to make sure because I know that you're not the youngest being in the pod and I just, Mitzi, yes, this show is not about insulting people's ages. Well, I thought it was okay because I'm the same age as you. I mean, I mean, I know, I, I mean, we kind of, well, anyways, you know, yes, well, I don't really want it to be all about age. Well, all right, then, let's just continue. Let, let's move on to the makeup part. Feels good. Ooh, I like 
this. You're getting better at this stuff again. You know, you used to do this, right? Yes, I did. Well, I think practice is making more perfect in your case, miss. Thank you, Mitzi. You're welcome. I just re- Anyways, I, I forgot what I was talking about, but now I remember. You know, I said I have fear of a fear of missing out FOMO. Yes. Well, here you go. Write it down. I'll write it. Well, no, I, I'd rather that you didn't. I mean, it's a clean piece of paper and all that. Well, I thought it was the show. I could, I could just use part of the budget. Just a piece of paper. So I can explain FOMO. Fear of missing out. Yes. Well, you think I don't understand FOMO? Well, I don't think you, you might not because you're not exactly me. You're not exactly me. You know, I might, I might have a different perspective, you know, from you about some things. Okay. Well, anyways, my FOMO, because it, it involves the budgeting. Yes. It involves the budgeting. And Okay, well, I'll just keep on talking while you're over there going through, going through makeup and stuff because it's one of those things that's sort of important to me and I, I was hoping that you would maybe pay attention to me. Is she going to pay attention to me? I mean, I appreciate the googly eyes. I have googly eyes backed up. I've got years and years worth of googly eyes. So, you know, if this series ends up running a really long time, well, I have to say, you know, it's like, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got a lot of googly eyes of many future, many future. I've got googly eyes for, for, I've got googly eyes for a long, long time to come. But what I don't have, and this is about my FOMO, is I don't have eyelashes. Oh, right. I want to try the false eyelashes again. And I know that you're prejudiced against the false eyelashes because you have trouble putting them on and everything. And you never really could understand it. And sometimes you were, you went out and you felt like you looked like a fool because you found out later that hanging halfway off your face and well not your face yeah it wasn't my face it was my eye well yes but anyways I hope that you will not hold your grudge against false eyelashes against me because I want to try them out because I feel I feel I know I know that people look nice when they wear them and I, I think that I would like to try them and I, and I think that your viewers would like for me to wear false eyelashes I think you only have one pair and you don't want to share them with me well, I have to cut them small enough for you. Anyways, like I said, it's a budget issue. So please go ahead and write down below how much you'd like to see me with some juicy eyelashes so that I, I don't have to go through the FOMO. Anyhow, continuing the makeup. I didn't get any eyebrows yet. I think I'll do eyebrows last this time. Mitzi, I think you look really pretty today. I like it too. I think this is nice. You do the eyebrows and everything nice. But now you're going to do the nose? Uh, I guess so. I'm a little afraid maybe. You know, sometimes you blow it. Sometimes you blow it with the nose. Now, man, are you sure you want to do the nose this time? Are you sure you want to do the Are you sure you want to do the nose? That's what you want to do. Yeah, we really like this fresh look. I feel 22, sort of. And uh, and now you think you really, you think I really need a nose? Cause sometimes we well, you know I don't need a nose. Do you want a nose? 
Well, I suppose I wouldn't mind a nose. smell everything and mm, smells good in here what is that perfume it's it's uh je reviens by worth oh yes yes i remember i well the right hand remember spraying that a lot i remember enjoying it but you know i don't really spray the bottles uh, that's the more for the right hand anyways i sure do like it so are we done no we have maybe well you know what i think you look really pretty just like that without a whole lot of stuff on so maybe I do like that I think I like it too I don't know if I really need anything else except Mitzi yes Mitzi yes I have a surprise for you you have a surprise for me yes you have a surprise for me Yes, because I really appreciate the work you're trying to do for me. I know that you're working really hard to try to get my channel going and everything. And Well, I know you can't see the tears, but it does sort of make me want to cry a little bit. It's hard to sniffle through a tiny nose, but if, if I could, I, I think that... Well, what's, well, what is it? What's the gift? It's a gift? It's a gift, right? It's a gift? It's, is it the eyelashes? It's not the eyelashes. Well, that's all right. Uh, um, you know what? I'm not going to make you guess. I'm just going to show you. It's here now. Yep. It's your own set of brushes. It's my own set of brushes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Uh, Thank you, Mitzi. Oh, I'm very, very happy to have my own brushes. You know, I didn't really think it was so so sanitary. And be careful with my beautiful brushes. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, yes, yes. I thought maybe I could use these, uh, you know, on it. Look at that, Mitzi. One, two, three. Are there five or six brushes? I think one rolled away. I'm very excited. Look at these beautiful brushes. So I thought maybe, oh yes, I definitely want to try some eyeshadow now. Okay, well let's go with, uh, I like this one. This one seems to like be pretty uh, stiff. Hey, you know what? What? Um, yes. Oh, you know what? I put the eyeshadows away. You what? No, it's okay. Never mind. Here, here I got this one. This Elme. This Elme here. Here we go. I'm very excited. Okay, here we're just going to go in with, uh, let's see, we'll just go with this. This one's pretty. I just knew, I knew that this was going to be something I was going to enjoy. And now I have my own makeup tools. Well, Mitzi, it's kind of hard to put makeup on you, you know, using my brushes that are more for my face, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that is what I always said. Look at the application. I really love it. Uh, sugar bean, I'm going to call you a sugar bean bowl. You know, I normally don't call you a sugar bean. Anyways. Oh, I feel very, very happy. Very happy. Thank you so much. Let's do uh, this pink one out towards the top, like a light pink. I like it. Because I, I see some lip lip color in there, I want to try it. And... All right, we've got my stuff over here. Let's see this one? I like this one. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, so 
now I'm just going to do the little promo. Yep. Okay. Disbelief. I can't believe it. You're back. Oh. Well, anyways, thank you for coming back and uh, or coming for the first time here. Thank you. If so, welcome to the channel called Talk to the Hand Reviews. Um, my name is Bo, and I, my friend here is Mitzi Handsome. I like to have just a little silent one. Just so. And. Um, She's a um, little, she likes to wear makeup and I put makeup on her, my own makeup, whatever I have. And um, she's just this little character who's sort of based on um, two people that I, my, my mom, number one, my mom, my mom's, sort of my mom's sense of humor and attitude was sort of, sort of like the way Mitzi is. And also to um, a little bit of the accent because she was a Missourian. She was from Missouri. She would say that. She used to get mad when people would say Missouri. Oh, um, but, uh, and then the other person, the other part, the real person who's responsible for the accent is a lady I used to work with in a doll museum. When I, I started my first job, I was 14 when I started working there at this doll museum in Orange County and she worked there and she was quite old. I think she was in her late eighties and, uh, she worked there too. She was the owner's sister-in-law and she worked there and she was really, really nice. She was really fun and she was cool. She was really beautiful. She still wore makeup and she still cared about her clothes and, and she was very, her mannerism is basically, she was, her name was Louise and she was from Louisiana. And so that's the other person who's really sort of the person who's sort of accent and attitude also is part of the Mitzi character. So the Mitzi character just sort of, my husband and I were sitting on the couch with one of our cats. And uh, we were just being silly and all of a sudden this character came out and just really wanted to do a YouTube channel and just so that here we are, you know, and as of this video, this is, this will be my, uh, I think it'll be my 11th vlog video here for this channel. And I'm having such a good time. You know what? Here's something you never learn until you try something, no matter what anyone says, should I do it? Should I not do it? You never know whether or not you're going to like it until you try it. But what's so funny is at this point, like I don't really have a lot of followers um, or even that many views or anything, but I kind of don't care. Well, it's actually really fun. I think it's really fun uh, just to do this. I'm really enjoying it. It gives me a reason to like, you know, care about makeup again and care about clothes again. Like, cause I work from home and I don't really need to be out wearing, you know, clothes, whatever. I mean, well, clothes, yes, I gotta be wearing clothes, but you know, I don't have to be caring about the makeup and all that. It's more like an, I want to thing. It's not an, I have to, it's an, I want to. And so I just thought, my gosh, you know, and, and another reason too, that I started the channel is because I recently had a diagnosis of glaucoma. Well, another chat, another reason why I started the channel is I, I'm still sick, but I, I've been really sick for years now. That's all started with a dizzy spell. Uh, when I, after I got bit by a tick, um, and I couldn't get out of bed for, it was, you know, you put it out of your head and I can't even quite remember now, but I feel like it was weeks at least. And I mean, weeks where I couldn't really do anything. I could, I could get out of bed and go to the bathroom. And that was it because everything caused a dizzy spell. And I don't just mean a, whoa, I mean, 
a dizzy spell where you have to like sit down on the floor you have to lay down on the floor in some cases it nauseates you so quickly that you have to vomit you fall to the you choose to go down onto the floor because you know you're going to fall if you don't <laughs> but anyhow I, I don't really want to get too much into that but i do think that if anybody's watching this or if they watch it in the future they might want to know my motivation what are my motivation <laughs> well you know basically what you see is what you get like just this lady who wants to do stuff and here she is doing it all over you <laughs> that sounds so bad i mean here she is doing it just whatever man and i i, I think that's my philosophy just you have to try things. You have to do what you want to do. And if you don't like it, so what? You didn't fail. You just tried something that you didn't like. You decided to go in another direction. Anyhow, my name's Bo, by the way. And um, so today, today's video, um, I'm thinking it's going to be kind of a longer one because um, I haven't had work this week. The work that, my, my great work from last week that is still ongoing was supposed to be this week too but then all of a sudden it's just one of those things sometimes when you were project to project there's a hold up and then you planned you know you plans to work so you have your schedule open for that work but then that work doesn't necessarily come when you expect it and that is another reason why part of my philosophy of this channel too is luxury without um, sacrifice <laughs> luxury without sacrifice luxury without going into debt with credit cards going to debt period going without going into debt period if possible I know that's really easy to say and hard to do but uh, I think we've been given this idea that we have to buy everything we There have been cycles that have been introduced, I think, starting in the 80s, which had to do with the overuse of credit cards, that I think that people have gotten involved in to the point where they don't even know what money they actually have or what money they don't have. They only know how much their credit card payment is that month, or their credit card payments, I should say, because we know it's payments. <laughs> but man, those credit cards, I mean, it's like... So this is what I think I'm about, is I really love luxury. And I used to work in the uh, luxury, um, well, I used to work in the cosmetic and fragrance industry for about 10 years, off and on, when I lived in the Los Angeles and Orange County areas in my 20s, in, in from 19 to about 29. And I, I, had, I had a number of different jobs. Um, let, me, let me actually insert a product in here, because now you see, oh, okay. <laughs> Because I'm talking and it's that thing where I know you're looking at me. I don't have anything on my face. And it's not the best look. I mean, no, it's fine. I don't want people to think that I don't like natural. I do. I th I'm all for natural if that's what you like. But for me, I kind of want to put makeup on. That's why I'm here to put some makeup on. But anyhow, I'm going to start with this cool thing that my husband and I discovered at the gas stations here in Canada. Mars Sweet Syrup Peppermint Bee Wax Lip Balm. This stuff, it, you know, it's one of those things, it's difficult to find a lip balm without petroleum in it. Isn't that funny? And the irony is that we find it at the gas station. <laughs> but I love this stuff. Yeah, I did go over up here because I got a little bit of those lines. It's, it's going to be a minute till I put makeup on, folks, so I'm not going to... Uh-oh, uh my... I've already, I'm, I've already used up a bunch of camera juice. Maybe I should just like... Maybe I should make... Anyways, I'm talking out loud to myself. But this stuff is really great um, because, like, you know, a lot of those things that are out there, like... Um, this one's peppermint. You know where they are in Canada? They're at, <clears throat> if you live in Canada, if you live uh, somewhere else in the world, um, I don't know whether or not you can get this, but maybe you can get something like this. I'm constantly using lip balms all day, every day, at night especially. And so is my husband. He uses lip balm, but he uses my lip balm. Um, this 
it's called I think that it's mis misleading because it says Mars sweet syrup but it contains no sugars in it it contains no sweetness which I didn't want any flavors or all that stuff it just kind of grosses me out especially when you look at it it's got all that like petroleum and but no no don't get me wrong I love lip products that have a nice taste and a nice smell but um, I really have to have one that doesn't have too much but what this has is mint peppermint and they have lemongrass oh my gosh we've gotten like seven of them because I because it's something that I don't feel like I can I think maybe Burt's Bees has the has some without petroleum and I think that there are some out there but I didn't I haven't found those this is what I found and it's at the gas station when you go to pay up at the front if you go inside at all um, you know to the right they have the little display thing and I think they cost like four bucks each but Mars sweet syrup bee wax lip balm it says the ingredients are olive oil bee wax and essential oil olive oil bee wax and essential oil and actually they're pretty moist it's pretty moisturizing but it does um, it does stay on the lips too not a really long time but um, longer than some so I use this one as my bedtime and then during the day when I'm just hanging out in my studio here working you know doing whatever I use this a lot a lot um, so and I would highly recommend it and I feel good about recommending it to you because it doesn't have petroleum in it it doesn't have you know those um, uh, paraffins and those things so or artificial yeah, the ingredients again I state olive oil bee wax essential oil so there you go I highly recommend it so now that I'm nice and hydrated on my mouth there I'll tell you too you know what this part you're not probably not supposed to do this it's probably you're probably not supposed to do it because this area you don't want to use lip products on your face too much because it can clog your pores because the what's made for the lips is not the same skin as like this and that's the same thing for stuff like eye cream however I like to do this a lot of times and you know it does it, it does it for me just fine I do this a lot of times with another stick of this at night and uh, you know I know it's okay feel free if you don't like feel free to write down there uh, if you don't like it I can dig it I can dig it I can dig it um uh, yeah so just a real quick just want to let you know real quick Mars is sweet syrup good stuff if you're looking for you know because all those chopsticks and, and all those a lot of over-the-counter stuff it's surprising how much uh, petroleum is in there so thank you for joining for me for this little short review of Mars sweet syrup peppermint bee wax lip balm see you next time Stop dancing. I dance all day. Except that I'm a hand, it makes it kind of hard, and also I can't rhyme. Anyways, see you later. Talk to the hand.